Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about sexual dimorphism which I referenced in tier 1 part 1 of my iceberg chart. So sexual dimorphism is the name given to the differences in appearance between males and females of the same species but is not including the difference in reproductive organs or immune systems. These differences are usually in size, which males are usually bigger, weight, which again males are usually bigger, colouring and markings, as well as behavioural and cognitive differences. Sexual dimorphism is a result of sexual selection through time in which one characteristic is more desirable than another. So mates are chosen based on this characteristic and if you have it then it's more beneficial for you and more likely that you will get a chance to produce offspring. We'll now take a look at some of the more extreme examples as well as my favourite one, uh, the hen harrier, which have a special place in my heart. Okay, let's have a look. So first up we have the mandrels, which I briefly covered in my Weird and Unusual Animal Iceberg video part 1. Um, so mandrels, which I actually don't think I mentioned in the video, have extreme um, sexual dimorphism in the fact that males have a lot more colour in their faces over females and males are also double if not more in size and weight, which is mad. So next up we have the triple wart sea devil, which besides its cool name is known for being a deep ocean dweller and probably for anglerfish on Finding Nemo. Now these ones are very interesting as the females are can be up to 12 inches whereas the males are only 1 inch and the male actually is a parasite pretty much on the female. So the male will attach itself to the female and then their circulatory systems will conjoin and the female will sustain the male for the rest of its life and the male will provide the female with uh, semen in order to produce offspring. So um, weird and wild and wonderful things down in the deep deep ocean and the more we find down there the creepier it gets really. <laughs> And finally, we have the hen harrier, who don't really show extreme sexual dimorphism, but they hold a special place in my heart, so they have to get a mention. Uh, the males are usually about the half, a, half the size of a female, and are usually white with a kind of a hint of blue. And then the females are much larger, um, brown, speckled brown, with a white rump, which is just a white patch on the back. And what's interesting is that um, as juveniles, they're kind of indistinguishable. Um, you only really distinguish them when they become about a year old or so and I just think that's kind of neat and I do plan on doing a full in-depth video on hen harriers as I think that'd be kind of cool and it's something I have a big interest in and I'd love to share that interest with you guys okay um, thanks very much for watching hopefully sexual dimorphism is now a bit clearer in your head um, I will be able to mention it a bit more as I go through the iceberg and hopefully I'll make a few more of these videos where I'll go into the definitions that I'll need to cover in the iceberg and that should get us off to a good start. Um, I also now have a TikTok account, um, just at The Ecologist, which is really after blowing up right now and I actually think most of my subscribers have come from the TikTok page. So thanks very much for that guys and uh, we'll catch you later.